Welcome everyone to another live stream. And just when we want to go live, we get drop frames. <coughs> so let's see what's a little bit less bandwidth here. So, breaking news you might have noticed this is a more main channel, that's a, a more live channel. We have the IT news, security news, and stuff. And today, breaking news more similar to lay off 250 people, planning a new focus on making money, um, <coughs> making money, amazing open source achievement, plans to focus on Pocket VPN and other privacy product. And I find this so hilarious that I wanted to just discuss this one topic today. And I had a previous live stream a year ago, so uh, my own perspective here making money or actually making not money from open source, although I do open source for 20 years already, T2 Linux and contributed to everything a little bit all over the place. And while doing so, as I have neither rich parents, parents nor um, had in the beginning ties to big industries, IT industries, um, it was extremely difficult, even embedded Linux. And when you, when we had a little bit of food in embedded Linux, then uh, Google made Android for free and um, all the other stuff. Anyway, focusing on Mozilla's layoff, I, I find this so hilarious um, how a Mozilla for bro open source browser foundation can new focus on making money. This is hilarious, especially raise your hand. Who of you uses Pocket? VPN and other privacy products from Mozilla. Um, I personally, not, I only want a freaking stable, most amazing, snappy, like f the fastest, the least memory, the snappiest, the most secure browser. And all we get is, well, we got this, so thank you, thank you very much for that. However, we still don't have in 2020 on Linux hardware isolated video playback with VAAPI unless you since Recently, just the other month, Red Hat, uh, also not done by uh, Mozilla Firefox, but some Red Hat employee. And there, this hardware well as video only works in Wayland or so. So not for those of us who run mainstream XORG. Anyway, so let's uh, analyze this here a little bit. Um, and so, yeah, I, I really feel sorry for those 250 people. And you might uh, be surprised that they have a thousand employees. And you might wonder um, if Google Chrome takes over the world like that. And what is Google, uh, what is Google, what is Mozilla um, doing with a thousand employees? This is really crazy, right? You would wonder it, it must be the most amazing browser by then. Um, you might also be surprised that in the press center, of course, you don't find something uh, negative news in the press center. Also in January, I think they already laid off 70 people in January. Um, yeah, press center of, yeah, you only see this in other major news sites. Um, coronavirus pandemic, you're also blaming it on the coronavirus pandemic. I also wanted to say, so in this pandemic, um, you would think they focus on the most amazing browser to work from home in the cloud with maybe a double down on WebRTC, on video isolated video playback, freaking for video conferencing in your Firefox browser. But hey, what do I know about um, browser and stuff and use cases? But no, they focus on... Um, uh, VPN and Pocket, which nobody is using. Um, also, yeah, they had the Taipei uh, operations that they're closing. But so what are these commercial uh, products? Um, if you look around here, so how would I even spend money on them, right? I mean, except I want one thing. I, I only want one thing from Mozilla. I would even like pay for that as long as I get the open source, which certainly builds us for our T2 Linux here from source. So, I mean, I would even donate something if they needed that money. Um, but yeah, so do you see something like, hey, buy this from us stuff here. So Firefox products are designed to protect your privacy, learn more, uh, something, uh, Mitchell Baker here, something, join us, yada, contact tracing, but yeah, okay, pocket tiers and, but yeah, do you see something like, hey, throw money at us? Um, maybe <coughs> they should also uh, optimize there. But yeah, modern websites, fancy graphic website, but where do you find what, well, you only want a browser from them, right? I mean, it's a browser you find, but everything else, like, even if you know, okay, Pocket, get a Firefox account, um, is this here, like, give them money, apparently not Firefox browser, Firefox, I mean, would you even want an account there to pay something privacy focused? Not really. Um, would donate with some um, anonymous online payment, whatsoever, something, but yeah, not really feeling like 
logging into some central location for my browsing needs uh, with all the internet security and um, censorship voices also did this uh, wait a second what is here now with the back button now the Mozilla website and the back button it's not even on the so much to the back button um, exactly how you want a website to behave in 2020 right uh, even if you go here you see I spent five minutes to look on the website which obviously I usually otherwise never do so going to the product somewhere here was product um, yeah here so if you want to so commercial focusing on their commercial products right so yeah whereas the products are here uh, product help support resources um, so amazing uh, stuff somewhere here was actually where was even I somewhere found um, where was even the product a minute ago I somewhere was on some sites that listed where did I find that now but um, you see an amazing web to website file about contact privacy where was even uh, somewhere I found where did the products disappear to should have had this open as well um, can't make this up I think ah, here the, I think I found this somewhere ah, here I ah, get the okay benefits the benefits are browser Firefox look over like passwords protected and portable uh, lookout uh, yeah also did you know they have Firefox monitor lookout stuff and Firefox send share large files without prying us like yeah this is what you need Firefox for right to share large files so somewhere they had products are ah, here so you see uh, this is also I mean you see they have 1000 employees they have hundreds of millions and yet focusing on earning money and products uh, you don't find it here in the footer where I was like hey where, where, where did, did it disappear to but here on this so yeah here the footer is somewhat different because yeah, uh, modern websites so here we finally products but products not clickable because now yeah, why should this be clickable and user interface design why should links look visually um, different from from headlines but yeah anyway let's click here on something um, yeah also amazing products did, did you know what look uh, look alike look wise monitor send browser as a product now anyway um, clicking on this pocket thing um, yeah I was actually surprised when I researched this pocket they didn't even invent they purchased this because obviously open source foundation needs to purchase stuff what I find really curious I just learned looking here five minutes before this live stream did you know that there is a Mozilla corporation uh, that has a thousand employees and like f revenue of 400 uh, what is it revenue 450 mil why is the net income net income Hmm. strange numbers anyway so there is a corporation and uh, um, Mozilla Foundation this is, is also hilarious right you would wonder if some open source thing focuses like on the most amazing browser with like a thousand people they are like a Mozilla Foundation but <laughs> American uh, structuring stuff and text optimization stuff um, they need to have a foundation for tax reason or whatsoever and a freaking corporation it's like what the heck you had one job of making a browser and now yeah. so this foundation where they collect the stuff they have only 80 uh, stuff here in 2019 and um, so yeah 430 million and and uh, stuff of 80 is like anyway um, this might have something to do you might be surprised um, not only oh, well I knew but maybe you're surprised not sure somewhere why is this not listed here on this um, somewhere I just saw a minute ago but maybe it's on the corporation side so most of the donations historically have been from Google um, surprising or unsurprisingly um, and they had some tax audit where am I even foundation um, here it's written they had some tax audit here as it was maybe a little bit shady and they had to pay some 10 or so millions after an IRS audit and maybe this also is the reason why they found it there in um, so this was founded in 2003 but this corporation founded in 2005 according to uh, Wikipedia here and let's see if this donation stuff are here 
here is this um, funny that this income is listed at the um, corporation but not the foundation anyway so here's this pro portion derived from Google in the beginning 95% later 85% uh, then they didn't really list it anymore um, however um, I really wonder I mean certainly with Google Chrome the biggest c competitor there um, and declining revenue from Google you might wonder why they don't do this the Wikipedia style like because raise your hand I said this in the beginning who of you wants Zync, Pocket, Send, Monitor, um, I want neither of those services or like one password or whatever. Um, why does a open source browser foundation in 2020 need to focus on not making this stuff up? Their words here, focus on making money when all we want is the freaking best open source browser experience. And um, when you take a look here, so somewhere was, um, so yeah, why do they not do this the Wikipedia style? Um, maybe many of you would be willing to donate some dollars a month or year. I certainly would if the, well, for hardware isolated video playback, for example. Um, but some of the stuff of this American foundations, unfortunately, is also this financials are often a little bit shady. Um, I knew maybe, maybe that's new to you, I knew this for many years, which is also why I personally don't donate to Wikipedia. Um, although maybe you want, um, I, I don't. They have freaking enormous income, right? Um, here donations, 82 million and expenses, 66 million. Also, this, op this foundation, the more money you donate, the more they burn somehow. Um, and I think, in my opinion, something like uh, the Wikipedia, I would donate like if every one of us would donate a dollar a year, that would already be enough, in my, my opinion. But the problem somehow is with this kind of um, US style foundation stuff that somehow they always find ways to burn and spend more money uh, faster than you can donate. And uh, that is a little bit my personal issue with this. Um, otherwise, I would theoretically donate. The other issue is that they deleted the T2 Linux article. So why should I donate to Wikipedia when they delete T2 SDE, our unsuccessful one-man distribution, <coughs> which is not one-man, nor unsuccessful, for relevance, but for example, Puppy Linux, which, hey, what is more important, T2 Linux as a broad cross-compilation thing, or Puppy Linux, uh, which sometimes even uses T2 to build it. Um, and yeah, Puppy Linux is there, uh, T2 not, so like, yeah, and I should donate for them, right? If I would, I would even donate if at least they would have our, our T2 article, anyway. Um, Maybe something like this, a lot of people donate something, would be more profitable for Mozilla, my opinion. Um, and maybe also focus on a freaking most amazing web browser, not all this strange making money business of, hey, is this your primary mission of making money with crappy products you probably don't want. And um, last but not least, then I take a look on these comments. You might wonder here, somewhere was a list of products, yeah, products. Um, yeah, Mozilla Firefox also product, nah, yeah, they certainly don't really sell it, but uh, pockets, like, yeah, you don't really want um, to use that. And when you take a look here, do they even have, so, list of um, Mozilla products, because who of new, you knew the list of um, products. Um, I think was even, yeah, so the list of Mozilla products, you see this pocket is so amazing and successful that in the Wikipedia list of Mozilla products, it's not even freaking mentioned. But um, other, of course, yeah, products as in, yeah, VPN, seriously. Um, also, which business, this, in my opinion, is like totally insane. If a business wants a VPN, they have, I mean, usually the point of VPN is if you have a backend infrastructure for your business, like a data center and headquarter, then usually you want your own VPN for your work from home in a pandemic employees to remotely securely log into your corporate network and not not some third party Mozilla VP virtual VPN stuff um, for yeah but as you see this channel certainly will not become a chill out channel for promoting XYZ VPN for year it doesn't really give you much um, anyway um, so this uh, client application, certainly all of the stuff, like most of the stuff, um, 
they do not make directly money with, right? Neither Firefox, um, VPN, the pocket not even listed here, um, send and monitors like, nah. Um, other components, this is also the funny thing, right? They list here products. I mean, since one is a DOM inspector, they list here a DOM inspector of Firefox as a product, can't make this stuff up. I really wonder who writes this stuff. And last but not least, Rust programming language is certainly one of the more promising and successful stuff, but again, not apparently according to this layoff, a primary source of their making money focus. Maybe it would even uh, be more financially viable to make online courses of uh, Rust educational material um, or Rust books uh, or whatnot. Um, certainly many of you might agree, uh, but leave your comments below. If uh, focusing on commercial, secure and memory safe programming with Rust is financially or would theoretically maybe more financial, financially viable. But yeah, also you see, like advancing the topic here of this and the More Life channel, advancing the state of IT with new, more safe, memory safe um, programming languages. And what are they focusing on? They are focusing on Pocket, VPN and privacy products. I rest my case, but yeah, uh, certainly um, with this uh, amazing management, um, you might um, certainly, um, uh, certainly uh, th this amazing management needs um, amazing board of director, uh, board of directors, uh, directors, um, and and corporation uh, CEO here um, of. Um, yeah, to come up with such ideas. Um, I rest my case. Um, totally insane. Um, I'm really feeling feeling sorry for uh, this amazing people who are not primary primary developers of Pocket and VPN. It's hilarious. Um, and um, I really wonder what is wrong. Um, but but maybe this maybe this summarizes what is wrong in the open source. Um, open source um, landscape and financing. And last but not least, before I move on to the comments, maybe it would be more amazing if this big heavy weights like Linux Foundation, Mozilla Foundation, instead of burning the money for garbage, nobody's asking and nobody wants, set up some kind of financing cluster for other open source developers like you and me who work on Firefox, making it more financial or at all, making it at all financial, financially viable for normal people around the world from uh, Africa to uh, China, from Brazil to India and stuff, um, to contribute stuff like VA, like work on stuff people want, um, maybe even make their a, a Patreon-like page um, with voting and stuff like what feature should we work on or even other people like uh, peep someone some some random dude from india from china from russia from germany from america doesn't even matter and um, submitting stuff like think google summer of code like hey i, I want to work on feature xyz for firefox like hardware isolated video playback or other features of rust and uh, memory safety security encryption and whatnot and finance those people and not by because did you know um, they purchased this right um, get pocket um, I was surprised that I knew about pocket thanks to the more live channel but they um, purchased this this was an independent thing that even I didn't know um, but uh, fact checking that of, I should have maybe kept this so Mozilla acquired that because pocket pocket plus Mozilla is like <laughs> random garbage but what do I know? They're excited to announce that Mozilla completed the acquisition of Read It Later Incorporation. But yeah, 20, when was this? 2017 uh, open source Mozilla Foundation needs to waste their money to buy a Read It Later pockets. Like, you had one job and that was an open source browser, and all you got us in three years is Read It Later, not hardware isolated video playback. Anyway, that's uh, really sad news and uh, my two cents of this kind of stuff. Um, 
certainly thanks uh, for watching and the super chat much appreciated all donations taken because um, still so much we want to work on um, p3 sgi stuff and uh, all the other fun stuff and sets them that similar to like what i've done the other weekend just not that I needed this, it's set standard compressed firmware stuff, but I just found it a little bit incomplete and if we use set standard everywhere, I wanted to use it for firmware. But there you see the problem. For independent people like me, there is like no financial incentive or to make a living out of this, like improving something at the Linux kernel. And I tried for a decade, a decade ago, um, and very few people want to pay this if customers First of all, I said this before, customers, like embedded Linux customers with T2 servers, like the shit needs to work, like your shit needs to freaking work. Like, yeah, it's also funny, right? With big corporations, they spend money and money, but the open source stuff, like unsuccessful woman Linux distribution, needs to just work. And then if you make booting faster, decrease memory use, and you quote some eight hours and like, oh my freaking, eight hours? I should pay eight hours to make booting faster? I should pay four hours for some compressed in it are these stuff that I ask you for but four hours like pfft. anyway um, but um, yeah leave it in the comments below um, the state of open source um, a really sad thing and as much you see as I like to do stuff I myself turned to YouTube and certainly Patreon there in the links and comments below which uh, also thank you very much for all the Patreon supporting this diverse work of low-level graphic stuff and microkernel soon and all the other uh, museum pieces of archiving uh, SG Octane and P3 stuff. Um, but yeah, 2020 turning to Patreon and YouTube to finance work on open source. That's it uh, for today. Let's see what we have there in the comments. Uh, Mr. Robot Fiosco. Oh, Stefan Paletta. Um, Amazing to see you here. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Um, yeah, welcome here. Uh, nice to see you. Um, Mozilla finally done. They sh should surprise nobody. Looking forward to the book that will be written years come after they give everything away. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I can't make this stuff up. All we wanted is a working web browser. Um, someone sing, sing the, uh, stopped using Firefox years ago. Well, you see, I still use it. And the reason uh, I still use it is um, it's still, despite Rust, and, and Rust, dedicated video coming soon, Rust as it, not too bad, but my personal problem with it is bootstrapping and the cargo micro dependency uh, infrastructure apocalypse. Um, totally not distribution friendly. As you also see Rust and Cargo totally working against um, open source Linux distribution packaging, like extremely, not only 42, but Debian, Gentoo and each and every one, totally unfriendly to package and integrate um, and, and making Firefox harder for me um, to build and package. And uh, this is also why I recently turned to Chrome, uh, previous video building Chrome, um, which um, also here yeah, built from source, but the problem with Chrome um, built from source here is a similar that uh, you have seen this built infrastructure apocalypse, uh, not for the faint hearted to even build this with this custom depot tool. And, um, but dedicated video to this, uh, or there was a dedicated video for that previous video, but a dedicated update coming to build systems in 2020 as well. But um, yeah, comes an audience tempted to use Firefox again. Uh, Mozilla Foundation sucked at times. They've done some political kind of stuff before. Can dig it up. Well, um, as you see, both somewhat works for me. I have both now, but um, despite Rust and Cargo, Rust and Cargo is still a pain for me to integrate. But but they also see 2020. Both of the major browsers, Chrome and Firefox, here on our. <laughs> Uh, not one man, not unsuccessful T2 Linux or built from source. Both both a nightmare to build from source and that certainly also shouldn't be like that in 2020, but more videos um, for that soon. So yeah, turning to Chrome, not really a help for me beside Chrome, um, beside Google, certainly sucking differently as much as a Mozilla Foundation. And in general, I don't even have something against the Mozilla Foundation, just there. Um, their focus on making money a little bit nah, 
and hey, after a decade or two, they still have not brought to us hardware as a video playback. I, m I might, but and this is. It's not even the feature I need the most, but it's certainly the feature most users ask the most, consuming content like on YouTube half of the day and remote stuff, um, video conferencing in your browser and stuff. That also, yeah, the focus of making money in the pandemic, they even quote here themselves. And I personally, maybe they should then focus on schooling, remote schooling, uh, remote video con conferencing stuff and not on pocket and monitor and, yeah, but certainly 1,000 or 750 employees you need for pocket monitor and uh, anyway. Um, let's see, what else do you have here? OBS, what OBS is all, what do you mean with that? Um, do you mean fishy to what OBS is all? No, quite. Um, with the mates there, but yeah, uh, shout out to the Kishan Nathan uh, super chat there, one one dollar sixty donation. Highly appreciated in general. Um, yeah, you certainly can do that here if you want, or on Patreon. Um, the more you see, I've so much interesting stuff to do and share, but I can only the twenty percent of my time work time I donated to this open source and YouTube stuff is already a net negative for me. But nonetheless, doing here this was a pleasure to build this channel and bring you open source and news and uh, hope to entertain you. And so all the Patreon Super Chat stuff, certainly highly appreciated um, if you want to throw that our way. And certainly it's more efficient with, with a net negative, certainly more efficiently spent than the um, uh, half a billion. Also, yeah. A, Mind blown, right? Half a billion. I mean, uh, yes, last but not least, I want. It's so crazy news. I wanted actually to say um, with half a billion over. So, this they already got billions over the years. They got. Darn, press the sun button. My hope this wasn't too long there on that. Um, this, um, this half a billion totaling to multiple billions over the years. Under my management, I would hope I would have not only built an amazing award-winning browser, but also microkernel and other amazing open source stuff. But yeah, somehow, uh, I don't know, um, the use of money a little bit. Probably also should optimize here my display setup to not have this failing scene selection too often. Um, VPN, polite way to, to run your buddy's house. Uh, Matt, if the first shit suddenly went behind it, Paywall. I didn't say paywall. I meant um, having like Skillshare kind of video tutorial, Rust stuff of memory safety, and um, yeah. Firefox is a cautionary tale. What happened when you hand over being conscious and on technical people? Um, John Vardis asks, video isolation doesn't work in Firefox, not on Linux, um, only since like last month if you run Wayland, and that only due to a Red Hat engineer. So on Linux, Firefox is playing all the videos for most users anyway, because who's using Wayland, right? Software decoded, and that is also why Firefox and Linux needs such a high um, CPU percentage and battery um, and of course this is I really wonder why I mean are they that incompetent so unfocused or is it politics of Microsoft doesn't want Linux video playback in the browser be more efficient anyway um, Tux Loves he writes Linux distros are very heavily based around GCC and LLPC. What what Linux distro are very? What do you exactly mean by that? Or do you mean glibc? Um, anyway, um, that's it for this uh, live stream for the summary. Um, anyway, the whole financing and foundation stuff is highly questionable. Leave me in the comments below what you think. I hope I didn't have this wrong scene for too long. 
but that happens when you live stream and don't have too many displays to monitor this stuff. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you soon for the next videos and more technical live streams and videos to come. Yeah, the Graver writes, uh, they claim that hardware acceleration on Linux would be a pain and break things. Well, I mean, with thousand employees and billions of dollars, it also what pain? I mean, throw open uh, uslib VA API and open this um, hardware decoder stream and throw the data in there. Of course, one thing is sandboxing. It's a little bit sandboxing stuff, but breaking, I mean, hide it also most new stuff sometimes breaks something but patch it use the community iron it out it's no excuse like it's difficult maybe also yeah but 2020 everything needs to be sandboxed because yeah c code and stuff c code and security um it's not an excuse for not having this stuff working and as seen by this reddit engineer sending this patch um it's certainly well nothing is impossible right everything uh, well not, not everything but everything it's in the hardware, everything technical, technically reasonable is also doable and if you want open source in Linux you certainly don't want, if, if you're an open source foundation you certainly neither want to support Mac OS, Apple's Mac OS or Microsoft Windows and Linux should be in your primary interest and then not having a major battery saving and performance feature that most users want for all their media consumption from news to YouTube to uh, video conferencing is certainly hilarious um, and yeah, more useful than pockets and VPN. Um, Vors Plumi uh, is watching the stream with VAPA decoding with Firefox. That is amazing, but that also means you're on Bayland, right? As far as I uh, saw this patch, this was Wayland only. Um, <clears throat> we can, yeah, on Wayland, so you, as far as I know, um, you must be running this on Wayland. This, by the way, is relatively new. Um, is there a date on this article? 2020, yeah, so this might be as new as just some months ago. Um, maybe I should switch to Wayland, uh, whatever that does to my OBS streaming setup. Um, John Vardis writes, he's using Pocket. I think it's nothing special about it. It's certain more things worth working on instead. Um, so Force Plumy is using Wayland. That's amazing. Very probably very few people are. Um, Um, Terminator for Wayland's good on, yeah. Um, but anyway, so th whatever the case might be, it, it is of course technically possible, just saying it's difficult is certainly not a solution and certainly not for a thousand employees and multi billion dollar foundation. Um, anyway, but that's it for this live stream. And I hope I'm not, I hope I will not be disappointed with how many um, frames I had the wrong scene earlier. But that's it for today, finally now, and I hope to see you soon and have a good evening, night or day, and I hope to see you next time.